There will never be a point in your time in your life where it's the right time to do a great thing. If you're waiting for that perfect, perfect moment, that perfect timing, it's not going to happen. You know what you have to do? You have to create the perfect time and the perfect opportunity and the perfect situation. It's that a lot of people become comfortable. They stop growing, they stop wanting anything, they, they become satisfied. People getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like, jobs that are making them sick. You see, when you're not pursuing your goal, you are literally committing spiritual suicide. When you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for, that takes you out of your comfort zone, you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you have. When the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game? There are things that you think you'll never need to know that you may only need to know one time in your life, but that could save your life because you had that knowledge. Unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered, you will never grow. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it, that you talk yourself out of it? You're waiting on your next door neighbor to make it happen for you. It may not happen. If you're waiting on your mother or your father, they may be so ancient in their thinking that they don't understand this opportunity that you have. And if you're waiting on them, it may never get done. You don't beg average people to be phenomenal. You don't beg good people to be phenomenal. You just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal. What reason can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? Find that reason. If you're not where you are, if you're not where you want to be, if you don't have what you want, want to have, if you're not where you think you should be at this particular place, it has nothing to do with the system, but it has everything to do with the fact that you're not making the sacrifice. I want you to make that dream become a reality because if you don't, you will be working for somebody else to make their dreams become a reality. Everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more. And let me tell you something, that's a lonely feeling. It's a lonely feeling, particularly people that you're doing it for. Most people take their greatness, take their ideas to the graveyard with them. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. There are people right now who are working who don't want to work. There are people who hate their jobs, but they keep getting up to do it. The wealthiest place on the planet is the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, we will find inventions that we never, ever were exposed to. Ideas, dreams that never became reality. Hopes and aspirations that were never acted upon. The question is, what are you going to do with your time? What drives you? And greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day. Workout after workout, obedience after obedience, day after day. When things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong? You will never, ever be successful until you turn your pain into greatness, until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to push you to where you need to be. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize, a part of your product. I, I challenge you to push yourself. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. I'm